what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about a few different topics in this video here today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about it chapter 3 aka welcome to dairy um we'll also be talking about that upcoming film megan from universal pictures and then we'll round it out by talking about uh the friday the 13th upcoming prequel tv show then we know it's coming to peacock from a24 with brian fuller being the showrunner uh that is titled crystal lake so just to kick it off with scream 6 scream 6 leaks and whatnot or star Starting to jump around online but before i touch on that i wanted to talk about but mostly this tease viewer not put out here uh, a day ago or two teasing what will take place in the opening of scream 6 with a new tweet of a ghost face on a tinder dating profile now it's not from the actual film but that's enough to decipher that the opening is most likely going to be a date from hell if this tinder date ends up being ghost face tormenting an innocent person who just wanted to connect and meet with someone now i think this will be a very unique way to open the film if it starts like that and plays out how i'm picturing it in my head viewer non also revealed some further corrected details about the bodega attack over on reddit so if you want to see what that is just because i don't want to touch on really too many overly specific spoilers related to that uh you can go over to viewer non's reddit profile but i mostly just wanted to touch on that opening because if that's actually what takes place and that's what they are alluding to with that tease on their twitter profile then it sounds like we could have something that is kind of maybe something that will remind people of the movie fresh uh, it's kind of also in a way borrowing stuff and paying homage to the opening of Scream 3 because you have some catfishing going on, but also the opening of Scream 4 too since we know uh, there was that mention or that opening that was a fake out that was in one of the stab movies related to uh, like an online Facebook stalker or something like that. So I think if it's played out well, this could be a very shocking opening to see. And, of course, obviously something that's different and inventive, never been done before. So we'll see what happens. But also he tweeted that that he tweeted that there's a post that was out there on reddit that got deleted full of leaks but most of it is fake according to them so if you see that on reddit then you are safe or if you see it anywhere then you are safe it i believe has a black background so uh just to touch on welcome to dairy aka it chapter three it chapter three what i like to call it is reportedly looking to shoot in april of 2023 in canada now these reports are coming from the illuminati who also shared that the production is searching for a black male lead in their 30s to play a patriotic army man he lives in Derry, maine in the 1960s which is a hard life even before the nightmare of pennywise he is in the middle of the community trying to bring people together in an unlikely time he is a pilot and plays a major role in welcome to Derry. addition additionally the article continues HBO Max is looking to cast a group of young kids in a leading role. Very little was revealed about this group of youths. Our sources revealed that this group may resemble the Losers Club in it. Now, this was not officially confirmed yet, so don't take this as official until it comes from HBO Max or someone else close to the production directly. Uh, but I guess and i hope that it is true i hope it's true because this sounds interesting and it also sounds like this tv show welcome to dairy is going to be exploring the black bot the black spot incident that i know was i think it was alluded to in that original andy muschietti movie but also something i know people wish they actually got to see fleshed out a little bit during those two movies so hopefully this is a sign that the black spot incident will be touched on in the upcoming series this report also did mention that of course bill skarsgård is reportedly expected to return as pennywise none of this again is confirmed this is just what is being reported by the illuminati they are reporting that there's these casting sheets or intentions to cast people for these roles like what i just mentioned and also going over the fact that they are looking to shoot welcome to dairy in april of 2023 out in canada so just to move into megan megan is already being considered for a sequel from universal who apparently is so pleased with the movie that's why that this is happening now this was reported in the new york times i believe and all i will say is if it gets a sequel then it's going to get a sequel but that of course would be determined by the box office success what it seems though is that universal 
I'm assuming most likely, just sees an opportunity here and they have faith and confidence in this project, project product that Megan will prove to be worth investing in in the future. So the discussions are happening just in case and by the time a sequel is hopefully announced, they already know what direction they wanna go in going forward. Similar to how I'm sure talks of Scream 6 were already, already being made during or prior even to the release of five but we never heard reports like that at all uh but it's it's obvious and not obvious but safe to assume that's what was happening given the fast turnaround between five and six so i look forward to seeing megan and her efforts to try to put chucky out of business for good because chucky needs a breast that's a joke for anyone who took that serious <laughs> there's enough room for both both of these killer dolls i'm looking forward to seeing what megan can bring to the table and i believe it's now i think it also got pushed up recently to a early release in january and it was recently rated pg-13 so that's all i wanted to touch on really related to megan we're gonna round out this video today talking about the Friday the 13th prequel series that again is expected to come to Peacock at some point in the future from A24 and Brian Fuller, this being Crystal Lake. Now, shout out to you, Cinestealth, if you're listening to this video, because you put out a tweet a few days prior to them actually announcing this TV series. You said on October 27th that Friday the 13th remake prequel news was incoming probably any day now, and then it came shortly after, not really too long after you put out that post. So, Good, good scoop there. Uh, and then you also cited some new details that might also be true. Since you got that right, I'm gonna talk about this stuff. These again are not confirmed, but these are reportedly what could happen and take place in the Crystal Lake show. So if you want some new details about the upcoming show, these might be some if they end up being true. So Cinestealth also pointed out that some other stuff they had heard is that a shady family owns Camp Crystal Lake and they're going to be a big focus of the show. Pamela Voorhees and Jason Voorhees' father will also be involved, so we'll finally get to meet Elias it seems like and also the camp is only one location in Crystal Lake like the town except or expect more town politics and other sketchy stuff to be going on alongside the camp slash the Jason prequel drama so it seems like again we will be exploring the town we'll be getting a probably fleshed out understanding of what went on the summer Jason drowned and seeing how exactly maybe these counselors were negligent and seeing Pamela's downward spiral how it impacted her how it impacted Elias and ultimately since we've already had talks about possibly seeing many variations of Jason we'll see adult Jason at some point in this series too so I'm again thinking that at some point this show will somehow become a sequel to one of the movies we've gotten in over the recent years I don't know which one obviously I don't think it'll be Jason X it'll be something <laughs> prior to Jason X uh, if it's a sequel somehow to Freddy vs. Jason that would be wonderful but I think it's even going to be something prior to Freddy vs. Jason but those are some cool details I hope that this is true if you haven't already of course go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video